welcome back to Tinker Wonderland. Today I have another new Christmas uh, DIY decor to share with you guys. And uh, this is a little long, so grab some snacks, sit back, relax, and just hang out with me. And I hope you will enjoy watching this video. Let me show you what I uh, what is my DIY for today. Just keep watching. Here you go guys, this is my new DIY Christmas gingerbread decor for Christmas to share with you today. So if you are interested to see how I made this one, I am going to share it with you. And are you ready? Let's start it! Alright guys, so for this project I am going to be using this items that I got from the thrift store, this uh, cup, this, um, I forgot what you call this, it's uh, like a pitcher, <laughs> and it has a lid, of course, and then this mini, mini uh, plate here, and black paint, I'm going to use this, uh, real red um apple ap apple barrel gloss uh real red paint <laughs> and of course nutmeg brown for our our gingerbread and then i will try if this will also uh, i'm going to use i i'm not sure yet but this is a territorial beige and of course white paint right here have a bigger one all right so let's move on i'm gonna be painting this uh, all this cup and the pitcher and the plate first with the um, brown with this nutmeg brown if you guys notice i'm using empty container of my uh, cuts yeah cuts uh treat and i'm also gonna be using this uh, foam it's just a foam so i can dab it here and but before that i think i have to remove the have to remove this tie here don't need that Because the size of this um, plate and the cup, guys, is like an ornament. It, this is like an ornament. That's why it has a tie. But, again, I'm not going to be using that. Don't need that to hang as an ornament. So, I will have to remove that ribbon. Okay, so, oh, sorry. Let's start with this picture. I'm just going to color the lid. I'm going to uh, put uh, red on this lid, so I'm just going to leave that on. And then I'm just going to paint the body brown. This is going to be a little... challenge guys because <laughs> this is dark already dark brown so we'll see if i can uh, make this lighter i'm just dabbing it just like that so i'm starting to do the first coat for for now so i'm just gonna put the uh, brown or yeah I'm just going to put the brown color on the body. Give me a second. I decided to paint this one with white first. Because uh, so I think that will help to brighten the color yet. So I'm going to do that now. Put white on this. That way I can... Uh, I can match all the colors together because this one is 
dark brown already a dark brown color so I'm going to just dab this white paint here to make it lighter and then uh, that's the only time once it's dry uh, that's the only time I'm going to put the um, the brown so I think that's gonna work better Oops. <laughs> Just like that. I'm just gonna keep doing this, guys, and uh, you will see the end result. On this part of the project, I started to put the brown paint, but then I just realized it should not be brown. <laughs> it should be red on this uh, other side of this picture. And um, so, yeah. So, I just changed my mind and put it back into white. So, I painted again into white and then uh, I started to uh, do it all over again. So it turns out like that. Uh, everything is in white now. And then I started to put a uh, uh, painter's tape on the handle and on the other side of this um, picture. So I can, uh, first that part I'm going to paint in red. So it will be uh, protected and I go through, I just keep on uh, filling it that way. I just remember now, it's a kettle, not a picture. <laughs> I also went ahead and put a uh, painter's tape on the cup, on the cup, just like this, because I am going to paint uh, the handle in a different color, and we'll also match it with this uh, kettle. painting the kettle with brown color or brown paint just keeping it that way uh, putting the brown paint uh, all over this uh, kettle
after I put the first coat for the kettle with the brown paint, I also started to uh, paint this uh, cup, the, the tea cup, with brown all over the uh, all over the tea cup. So uh, while waiting for the kettle to get dry, and then uh, I will also do the other one. Paint, paint it in brown and then let it dry for a second and then we'll have the other one get painted too. Now the kettle and the cup already painted, I also put some paint on the on my saucer. So everything will be brown. So I started the first coat on this one. And then um, we'll continue the second coat for the kettle. Now I am going to paint this lid with red uh, paint because I wanted the lid uh, to be uh, the red one. It's kind of cool though. <laughs> it's something nice. It's Christmassy guys. Christmas color red and uh, brown for gingerbread. So that's what I'm thinking for this. And here you go. First coat for the red uh, paint on the lid is now done and then I just go through all this brown make it a little smooth <laughs> although it's not smooth and then now I am ready to paint red for the handle and the other end of this kettle so I started with the under, other end of this kettle so I just put red on it and then also will apply I am going to apply the red paint on the on the handle now that's how it 
looks while, I, while waiting for the handle or the other end of the kettle to uh, get dry I'm also applying the red on the handle of this teacup and that's how I that is my method to my madness because <laughs> I always have um, I have a hard time to wait for the paint to get dry so I'm trying to do it one by one little by little <laughs> so uh, it will work guys and uh, guys if you are watching this video and you are liking it so far I hope you um, consider to subscribe on this part I started to put the red paint on the sides of my saucer again guys give me a thumbs up if you're liking this video now this on this part I am painting or um, drawing the paste for our kettle I started with the eyes and also I am going to do the same thing for the cup or the, the teacups in the saucer so I um, I actually I paint uh, started it with the pencil because I don't want to mess up the paste <laughs> so I started it with a pencil and then use I use the black marker to cover up that pencil I want everything to be to smile everyone is smiling there <laughs> as you can see I put a smiley face on my kettle again guys <laughs> give me a thumbs up if you're uh, if you like this video I hope you enjoy watching this video and uh, you can share share to anyone who can benefit this one you can also try to uh, make one for you and if you would try to make an, uh, um, the same thing like this uh, tag me guys tag me so I can also watch your video and I can share it to others too and that's how we grow up here in our channel Tinker Wonderland Please consider to subscribe if you're liking this video and um, there is more DIYs on this channel. I have my playlist. You can check out my playlist and if you also you also love um, watching cats videos, I have my cat videos here and cooking, uh, travel blog, uh, weather blog. We have everything here in my channel, Tinker Wonderland, in our channel. Actually, my Tinker is the one who is the primary owner of this channel. Tinker is my gray tubby cat. And I also have my uh, three-year-old black cat who is Drake. So, if you guys want to meet them, you can see them. You can see their video on this channel. And uh, we have the playlist. Just uh, check out our playlist. Check out our videos, guys. We have a variety of videos here. Hope you, can, you will also like all our content and you consider to subscribe here you go we have another beautiful face smiley face here for my saucer that's how it looks how cute is that i hope you're enjoying what the this video guys so i uh, also painted the handle for this kettle now in red i love this color red it's a little uh, it's uh, give a little character on this kettle from a sad kettle to a smiley one look how cute is that <laughs> so i've also put some red on the tongue <laughs> so uh, she's actually sticking her tongue and then i also put red paint on the nose that's how that's uh, that's what it is <laughs> so guys let me know what you think uh, comment down below whatever if you think there is uh, something that needs to improve on my video on this one uh, you can just uh, comment down below I am open to that open I am open to any suggestions any comments and that will help me grow guys uh, I don't mind any comment that you will uh, uh, give me I'd be happy to uh, read all your suggestions, read all your comments, and uh, yeah, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> that will help our channel to grow. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for uh, spending some of your time 
I know this is a little longer. <laughs> this video takes longer, so uh, I I really I really appreciate you guys for spending your time watching this video, and um, yeah, I hope I can also inspire you in uh, making some uh, DIY project like this for Christmas. Some other use for. Um, uh, any kettle and uh, teacups that you are not using anymore so you can also uh, clip it into uh, a decor and again this is all uh, since this um these items all these items are from uh, my trip store my local trip store this is another trip clip video from my uh, for my uh, trip uh, trip store finds and <laughs> there you go it's another re reuse and repurpose kind of video guys so hope to inspire you and then i put a white thing i just scribble or whatever you call that or wavy just put a wavy wavy uh, lines on my saucer and i also put white on the in the eyes of my um, my saucer and my uh, teacup to give it more color and uh, happiness <laughs> to the face of my um, project right here as you can see I am just using my old um, old paintbrush actually that one is already stiff it's the it's not it's sticking all together the brush is stick together already but it still work so I uh, use it like a pencil and then you also do the white on the eyes of this teacup so yeah that's how it turns out guys I put a little dot on the eyes of my uh, teacup here and uh, all of them, the saucer, the kettle, and the teacups to give it more uh, life. It's so nice to give it more light, guys. <laughs> I apologize if I'm out of frame on this one <laughs> sometimes I'm not looking on my cam I just keep on working so I'm sorry for that And then I also draw some um, curve or wiggles <laughs> on my kettles, and I'm also I actually do a lot. Uh, I do, did it to all of my uh, project here with the kettle, the teacups, and the saucer, and I uh, make it a little. It's like a frosting. <laughs> that it's like uh, it's spilling on her face <laughs> look how cute is that Then I am also adding some of dots here, white dot, white polka dot, to give this uh, kettle more character and happiness. So it's random dots, guys. No particular size. Just I just keep I just use the tip of my uh, brush, my paintbrush, 
to do the dots here and I will do it all over the other side of the kettle and we'll also I'm, I will also do it to the handle both sides I also added a polka dot, a white polka dot on the lid of, our, of my kettle right here. as well as with the handle of my uh, tea cups I also put a uh, white polka dot on it As well as with this other teacup on the handle, another white polka dot. Then I also add some wiggles on top of my uh, teacups here, just like the, what I did to the kettle and the saucer. 
I make it a little thick so it will look like uh, an icing to the cup so pretty guys what you think Now I make some of the white and uh, red color to uh, create some pink because I don't have a pink paint and uh, I will put some blush like a circle blush on on the face of my uh, gingerbread here <laughs> look how pretty is that guys all of my uh, I put it on the saucer the kettle and the teacups I put pink on as blush on on their face just like that look how pretty it is and I am I apologize that I'm out of frame here again just the same as what I did before <laughs> I, I, I always get uh, I'm out of frame I don't know what to say sorry for that okay so I'm so happy with this project guys it turns out really nice for what I think for me it's nice <laughs> I hope you also like this uh, video I hope you like this project and you might uh, if you guys want to try it too then go for it and again tag me if you want to try it so I can also uh, uh, watch it and share your videos Here is now the end result guys look how pretty it is it, it doesn't make you smile too <laughs> i always it always makes me smile every time i look at it so yeah it's success for me <laughs> so again guys thank you all for watching this is the uh, what how oh i don't know i'm so excited this is how it looks like and here's my gingerbread i also add uh, i just add some of these um, ornaments these are the ornaments that i got from uh, hobby lobby it uh, looks perfect for this project so i just scattered that all together there to give it more uh, character more beautiful look <laughs> more happiness so again i hope you uh this will bring happiness to you guys too and i hope you enjoy watching this video if you like this video give me a thumbs up share comment and subscribe on this channel thinker wonderland i hope you also consider to subscribe guys and uh, watch our videos here you guys for watching have a good day and a good night and guys you can also follow me on facebook at gloria custodio that gardener and on instagram at chi gardener that 26 and um also don't forget so to subscribe on this channel tinker wonderland and also click the bell button next to it so you won't miss any of our video and guys always remember Every day is a blessing, so start your day with a smile. God bless everyone. Thank you all for your love and support since day one, and I will see you.